Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in this video we're going to learn how to view and select our images in Lightroom. So as we can see, we start off here in the library module in grid view. If I want to see an image larger, I can go to loop view, and there's many ways to do this. Probably the easiest would be just to simply double click on an image. But I will point out that down in the toolbar, these are the icons for grid and loop view. So if I want to go back to grid view, I can click on the grid icon, or I could have tapped the G key. If I want to go to the loop view, I can simply tap the E key. Now, while I'm viewing an image in loop view, if I want to move to the next image, the easiest way to do this would be to use the right arrow key. Now I can move from one image to the next. I could also click in the film strip to move from one image to the next. You'll notice that while you're in loop view and you position your cursor over the image area, you automatically get the zoom tool. Clicking once will zoom in and give you the hand tool so that you can click and drag to move around the image. If I click again, I'll zoom back out to loop view, and if I double click, I can zoom all the way back to grid view. I can also use the space bar in order to see my images larger. If I'm in grid view and I tap the space bar, I go to loop view. If I tap the space bar again, I zoom in. Tapping it again zooms out. Now, if you want to know the zoom percentages that Lightroom is choosing, those are defined in the navigator panel. So you'll notice that the fit option is selected. If I want Lightroom to fill the area, then I can choose that option, but it might crop a portion of my image, so I prefer the fit option. Then when I zoom in, I would like Lightroom to zoom to one to one, so that is my secondary option. I can go and choose from the list to the right of it if I prefer to zoom to a different percentage, but for now I'm going to keep these set at their defaults, the one to one and fit. If I tap the G key to return back to the grid view, in the toolbar on the right hand side I can adjust the size of my thumbnails, making them larger or smaller. Now the options in your toolbar might be different. If you want to customize them, there's a downward facing triangle, just click on that and then select the items from the list that you want to see in the toolbar. When we're selecting images, you need to know that Lightroom not only knows what a selected image is, but if you select more than one image, it also knows which image is most selected. And this is very important because even if I have a number of images selected, when I go into loop view, Lightroom needs to know which image to display. So right now we can see that the first image is more selected, and I know that because it's got a lighter highlight around it. So if I tap the E key, that's the image that I'll see in loop view. If we go back to grid view and I select this image in the middle by clicking on it and I tap the E key, that will be the image that I see in loop view. Now returning back to the grid view, if I only want to select, say this third image here, well just clicking on it is only going to make it the most selected. If I actually want to deselect the rest of the images but keep this image selected, then all I need to do is click in this gray area, sort of the slide mount, maybe right to the left of the thumbnail. You can see how that automatically deselected all the rest of the images, leaving that image selected. It's important to understand this most selected image versus the range of images that are selected because Lightroom works a little bit differently. In the grid view, if I were to do something like add a keyword right now, it would actually add it to all of the images. But if I was in loop view and I added a keyword or maybe a star rating or something, it would only add it to the most selected image, the image that I'm looking at. It would not add it to the other three images, even though technically they're selected, it's just that this one is the one that we're viewing. And finally, if I want to see my images in full screen mode without the Lightroom interface and just move from one image to the next, well, let's go to grid mode for one second. You'll notice that there are four images selected. So if I go to full screen mode right now, we're only going to move through those four images. So I'm just going to click to select one image. I'll tap the F key to go to full screen mode. And now I can use my right arrow to move through my images or I can use my left arrow to move back through the images. When I'm finished looking at my images, I can tap the F key again, and that will bring me back to the grid view. So there you have it. Now you know how to select and view your images in Lightroom.
My name is Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.